in here and do it basically? Uh, I thought we played 52 great minutes. Um, really, really good. And then, uh, you know what, little mistake that's going to happen. And, and um, you know, obviously it gets a little chaotic from there. You know, you can expect that. I knew it was going to be a tight game. I don't think anyone came in here thinking it was going to be some type of cakewalk. Um, it was tight. I thought we did a good job of responding. I thought it was a great time up by Chris to settle everyone down. And from there on out, I thought uh, we played a real solid game. Or rest of the period. It seemed like you guys, even though that things did get a little hairy, kept a lot of their chances to the outside. Not many shots, I think just five. Can you describe the way you're, you guys played defensively in that third period to keep them at bay? Yeah, I thought we played really well. You know, obviously the kill steps up with another huge one. Um, they've been great all, all playoffs long. And, um, you know, starts with a kill there in the middle of the period. And, um, you know, we did a good job of just kind of rolling lines and, you know, killing the clock and keeping them to the outside. And it's going to get interesting eventually. Um, you know, it just is. They're, they're playing for their life. It's going to, they're, they're pushing hard. They're sending everyone um, every time. And um, I thought we did a great job of, you know, bending, but not breaking. Kevin Bouchard out there to help save the series in the last minute, and then the offense that he had this series. What can you say about this series he had? Yeah, unbelievable series. Um, unbelievable player, um, just getting better and better as he goes. Um, he's so smart, one of the smartest hockey players I've ever played with. Um, just constantly learning on the go, and, and um, you're starting to see him really come into his own. Uh, everyone knew offensively what he could do. Defensively, he's... Um, he defends using his brain, um, and, and uh, you know he's just getting real good at that. And going back to the Western Conference final meeting this group, this has been the goal all year long. It's been a roller coaster ride, but now you're back in the final. Well, yeah, it's exciting. I mean, it's exciting to uh, to be a great Vancouver team. That's first and foremost. Um, they're a really great team. They obviously had our number all year long. Um, you know, it wasn't too long ago, a couple months ago, we were sitting here doing an interview. Um, you know, talking about losing 8-1. So um, they've had our number, and, and, and it feels good to, um, to, uh, to, to come out on top in this series. It was a tight series, passionate series. Um, both fan bases going crazy. Um, it's fun to, to, to come out on top of that. Connor, how about Ryan Nugent Hopkins, hometown kid, gets the game-winning goal, 10 <coughs> points in the series. Just what he meant to you guys and your guys' success in this round? Yeah, he was great. He was great. Um, but he always is, honestly. Um, you know, whether he's putting up numbers or not, he's always um, touching a lot of areas of our game. Um, you know, uh, it's great to see him get rewarded on a big goal and and uh, and, and that. Um, but whether he's on the kill, power play, five on five, he's always making, you know, great decisions out there. And um, just a great player and, and um, you know, big part of our team. What could you say about, uh, I know you'll take a few days here, but your initial thought on the Dallas Stars, the way that they're playing right now and what you saw from them this year? Oh, they're a great team too. You know, it's uh, the conference finals. Um, you're going to gonna play a great team, and they certainly are. They're deep. Um, they're um, as deep a team as you're going to find in the NHL. You know, four lines, 16 men. they got a great goaltender. Um, it'll be a great test, but we're looking forward to it. That deepness, uh, the fact that you guys played probably your best two team games of the series at the end of the day, kind of bode well going into a series like that. Do you yeah, we're a deep team too. I know um, our top guys get a lot of uh, attention, um, but we're a real deep team, um, you know, and, you know, I thought we used all 12 forwards tonight trying to, uh, in the third period there, and all game long, all, you know, both games, game six and seven, I thought we used all 12 forwards and um, all 16 men, and um, we used both goalies this series. So we're a deep team. Um, you know, just like Dallas's. Can you describe the fans that don't watch this game? Like it's, it's, they're sweating out. Mm. What's it like? It's like a game like this. It was pretty intense from the outside. It's like on the inside. Yeah, it's intense. It's intense. Um, but ultimately, uh, it's our job to uh, to control those emotions, control um, control your play. Um, and um, I thought we did a great job of that. I thought uh, you know we didn't let the moment get. Uh, get too big um, and everybody did what they had to do and um, come into a tough environment and, and, and get it done. Um, can't give the guys enough credit. Chris doesn't use timeouts very often. What did that one do for you guys? <clears throat> I thought it was a great timeout. Um, you know, even even Darnell um, in the last TV timeout bringing the guys together, um, showing great leadership and that's what he is. He's a great leader. Um, he's big in this room. Um, and he showed great leadership there, um, bringing everybody in, and and uh, and I thought it was a good timeout by Chris too. Um, you know, the building's going crazy; it's loud. Um, everybody understands, you know, what's at stake, and you know, just uh, settled everyone down, and we were able to uh, to uh, close it up.